real hippies take their shoes off. <laughs> so, um, I obviously don't sing. This is a poem. I'm bringing it forward tonight in the hopes that uh, someone here in this musical wonderland that I just encountered will um, take the opportunity to turn it into a song. So just so you all know, I view all creative work as open source. You do not have to ask my permission if you want to use it or edit it. I would hope that you let me know. It's called, It Was Just a River. I watch the trees fly by. I watch the road spin away beneath the tires and out the back. I watch my parents in the front seat. Mom driving, dad reading. I watch a big green road sign speed past us. I whip my head around to look at it, but it's already miles behind. I continue to watch as we climb the mountain, drive along a ridge, and come down the other side. I watch a truck pass us, and a couple of cars, too. I watch them as they move by on the left. Why so much more slowly than the road, trees, and signs? I watch a hawk flying alongside the car. I watch a cloud cover the sun. I watch us start to climb another hill, drive along another ridge. I watch the sun peep out just for a second, then return into the clouds. I watch the inside of my eyelids, and then I watch no more. Many years later, I would not recall that journey, that first trip to Canada, that fateful day when my parents discovered, well, it was just a river, a river with special rock formations up in the mountains. As long as I continued journeying with them to that river, I never understood why they enjoyed it. I didn't even care. In fact, I didn't even know they existed, for me or anyone else. All that mattered was that the sand stayed with me, and that it was the only sand I'd ever seen, or would ever see, that was pink. And as I grew older, through the fourth, fifth, sixth, even eighth time we went together, I continued to marvel at the sand, not the rocks. Around the time I stopped going, I turned 12. I had learned some of the reasons for the journey. My parents were geologists, but the question still remained. It's a rock formation. It's a six-hour drive. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Around the time I turned 30, I went back there with my parents, who still went every year, and I found that the river had been replaced by an apartment complex and was now buried inside a culvert. My parents, without blinking an eye, stepped inside the culvert and walked along through the muddy river. And this time, I followed. I'm 25 years old, it's not true. 